Some people wonder about the safety of Microsoft ovens. Are Microsoft ovens safe to cook food in, and how do they affect nutrient composition of food? Uh, I've seen stuff on the internet in various blogs and articles where they warn that uh, cooking in a Microsoft oven is dangerous to health or it destroys nutrients and all this bogus nonsense, because that's what it is. Let's talk today about the truth about microwave uh, ovens, basically. Uh, a microwave oven basically turns electricity into electromagnetic waves called microwaves. That's why it's called a microwave oven. These waves stimulate molecules in food, make them vibrate, spin around, and clash with each other, kind of like rubbing your hands like this. The food basically bumps into each other because of the uh, uh, electro, uh, electromagnetic waves. This, this causes heat to occur in the food, and the food cooks. That's how it cooks. Uh, they, uh, the microwave uh, affects mainly water molecules in food, but they can also heat up fat and sugar to, to a lesser extent than water. Uh, now, the question is, does the microwave radiation hurt you? Is it in any way dangerous? Well, it is electromagnetic radiation, but this isn't the kind of radiation that's associated with atomic bombs or nuclear meltdowns or anything like that. The type of radiation that Microsoft ovens produce is called non-ionizing radiation, and it's similar to the radiation that emanates from your cell phone. Of course, this uh, this uh, some studies indicate that holding, you know, keeping your cell phone to your ear uh, hours each day, like many people do, uh, can cause a type of tumor called an acoustic neuroma. That's still debatable in medicine. Uh, depends on 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 the uh, basically the amount of uh, amount of radiation generated by the cell phone, but you know. <laughs> Looking at the people in, uh, in the gym, they walk around literally with the cell phone stuck in their ear the whole time they work out. I would say those people are at risk for cell phone problems, but we're talking about microwaves today. So uh, you got to understand light itself is, elect is a form of electromagnetic radiation. So, you know, ultraviolet rays, radiation, not all radiation is really bad. And not only that, the Microsoft ovens usually come with radiation metal, metal, metal shields and metal screens over the window that prevents the radiation from leaving the oven, so you're not going to be that exposed. But just to be on the safe side, you, wanna, you don't want to be stupid and press your face against the, uh, the, the microwave oven, and you want to keep at least a foot away from the microwave oven when it's working. The radiation de decreases. The, the, the further away you are from the oven, the less radiation you'll get. You want to also make sure the microwave oven is in usable condition. It's not old or broken. To make sure the door closes properly. If you do all that, they're not dangerous at all. What about the effects on nutrient content? That's a big issue. Every form of, uh, new, uh, of uh, cooking reduces the nutrition, nutri nutrient content of food. For example, when you cook a protein, you have a, 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 a situation called denaturation occurs where some of the amino acids are destroyed. In other words, you're not you're not getting the full, let's say, amount of amino acids that's in the uncooked food. Some of the amino acids will be altered by cooking. However, uh, the amount that's lost is not really significant. Uh, most of the amino acids needed, for example, muscle protein synthesis, are not destroyed completely, so you still get benefit. Uh, However, in the processing of some protein powders, uh, they've discovered that uh, one particular amino acid, for some reason in the processing, is considerably uh, changed, it's altered, called lysine. It's, a, it's an essential amino acid, and this occurs in even some of the highest quality whey proteins. But again, that's another issue. I don't want to get into that. But what, what really determines the nutrient content of a food cooked in a microwave oven is the temperature, the cooking time, and the method. Well, that's, that's what determines the nutrient loss in any type of cooking. Uh, for example, when you're boiling food, water-soluble nutrients such as the vitamin C and B complex can be leaked out of the food, you, considerable loss. But when it, when it comes to microwaves, the cooking times, because they're so short and the temperature is low, the food is not boiled, so the, uh, the microwave tends to retain much more nutrients than many other uh, cooking uh, methods. Uh, two reviews show that microwaving does not reduce nutrient value more than any other type of cooking method. 
an older study on, that looked at the uh, effect of microwave cooking on 20 different vegetables noticed that microwaving and baking preserve antioxidants in the vegetables most efficiently while pressure cooking and boiling did the worst of course the greatest loss of nutrients one older study found that just minute, one minute of microwaving destroyed some of the cancer fighting compounds in garlic such as allicin it's called allicin and also certain sulfur compounds but but it took 45 minutes to do that in a conventional oven uh, a recent study showed that mild microwaving actually increases the levels of sulforaphane which is the very protective compound found in broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables it actually increases the levels normally you release uh, sulforaphane when broccoli is chewed or cut because it causes an enzyme to release called myrosinase which activates glucophanin in the broccoli turns it into sulforaphane but when you put it with the broccoli in a microwave oven apparently uh, the, the brief microwaving uh, energy also activates my myrosinase but not enough to destroy it but enough to activate it so you can turn inactive glucophanin into the active sulforaphane compound uh, microwaving breast milk has been found effective in preventing a ter certain type of infection called the cytomegalovirus infection so you could say sum it up by saying uh, microwaves contrary to popular belief are very effective at preserving nutrients also microwaving could prevent the, uh, the uh, formation of a couple of harmful compounds uh, uh, one advantage of microwaving is that it doesn't heat up as much as it does with other cooking methods such as frying usually the temperature in a microwave doesn't surpass 212 degrees Fahrenheit that which is the boiling point of water uh, but fatty foods like bacon can become hotter uh, bacon is uh, can release harmful compounds called nit nitrosamines when cooked uh, but uh, according to one 1989 study heating my, uh, bacon in a microwave microwave caused the least nitrous nitrosamine formation of all cooking methods tested you don't want to put plastic containers in microwaves because uh they these plastic some of the plastic containers contain what they uh, what they call hormone disrupting chemicals such as bisphenol a which has been linked to cancer uh conditions like cancer thyroid problems and obesity when heated the containers can leach the compounds into food so you don't want to put uh, microwave your food in plastic containers unless it's labeled Microsoft safe. Uh, uh, microwave, uh, mm, unfortunately, microwave is, may not be as effective as other cooking methods at killing bacteria and other po uh, pathogens known to cause so-called food poisoning. That's because the heat tends to be lower and the cooking time shorter, and sometimes the food heats une unevenly. Uh, using a microwave with a rotating turntable can spread the heat more evenly and make sure that your, uh, your food is heated sufficiently to help ensure that you kill all micro uh, organisms also be careful when heating liquids uh, they can over uh, they tend to overheat so you got to be careful of that uh, so I, I think uh, I think that basically it's uh, you, you don't want to uh, with microbes you don't want to overheat or underheat you don't want to stand close to, stand too close to the microwave Mic microwave microwave and you don't want to cook anything in a plastic container or a microwave oven so that about it that answers the questions about microwave to sum it all up microwaves are safe uh they're not going to destroy any nutrients and you know so don't worry about that uh and, and that's about it if you want more information about nutrition exercise science anti-aging research you can use today effective fat loss techniques ergogenic aids hormonal therapy women's health and fitness Subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and medicine. I also have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage. It's uh, open only to current subscribers who can ask me short questions about anything they might have read in Applied Metabolics or anything that comes to mind, as long as the questions are short. Applied Metabolics itself is 40, 50 pages every month. No ads. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to give you solid evidence-based information that includes my almost 60 years of experience, of personal study and experience in the gym that can't be matched by anyone that I know of. You get a lot of tips on how to train properly, 
what works, what doesn't work as far as supplements and exercise. All of this is in Applied Metabolics. It comes out the first of every month. And uh, I, uh, like I say, you don't have to have a science degree to understand it. Everything I write in there, it's written on about a sixth grade level. I've been a professional writer for over 40 years. I know how to write for the public. It's not write, written in a medical journal style like other digital publications. So anybody, like I say, who's literate, who, could, who could, maybe has at least a sixth grade education, will be able to understand everything in applied metabolics. <clears throat> and even if you can't read, there's uh, programs in, in Microsoft, uh, whatever it's called, the uh, operating system that that you that'll read it. Uh, it'll read it'll read you the article. It actually has a this program for free that you can turn on. It'll read you the whole article. You don't even have to read it. It's available. You can you can read it on any platform: computer, phone iPad, whatever you have. So subscribe today, www.appliedmetabolics.com. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. They're the best. Thanks for listening.